what is up atg traders this is munya and welcome back to my trading channel today i want to share with you guys a simple scalping strategy for crash 1000 and boom 1000 this is going to be a very simple and short video so make sure you watch it up to the end and get all the instructions correctly but before i start as usual make sure you click the subscribe button and turn the notification bell so that you are notified each and every time i post a video we do offer other services like account management signals and mentorship so make sure you join the telegram channel uh, with the link in the description box below so that you get more information on those and you can join us right if you also enjoy these type of videos make sure you click the like button and support this channel okay so let's get into today's business by the end of this video you should have um something like what you see on the screen that's the simple strategy that is a simple scalping strategy which can get you up to 20 um candlesticks right you can get up to 10 20 scalping candlesticks which is which means you can hold for up to 20 minutes with this strategy right um i'll also give you the exit points the entry points and the conditions that have to be met before um entering so your take profit and your stop loss level levels will be provided um on this video right so this is a one-time video which means by the end of this video you should be able to be trading profitably and scalping profitably um a booming crash right so also just know that this is these are simple strategies you also need to be able to know how to trade properly and this is not uh, a holy grail right but from what we have tested um uh, we got over 90 percent accuracy while using this strategy so you guys can big test it on its own you can also comment down below what you think about this strategy and you can also share with it with your friends so let's get into installing this um strategy the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to uh, erase everything so that you guys can see the step-by-step -step process of creating um, a setup right so now now i have blank chart now uh, only my candlesticks i want to install all the indicators that i have uh, it's a little bit complicated on installing the indicators but i'm sure you get it and you see that the strategy is actually a simple one that you can try out on your own so the first indicator that we want to install is a moving average right and it should be on our main chart um right here and it will have the following properties we want it to have a period of 10 a shift of zero a method of exponential and then apply to close and then you're going to skip the levels but we're going to change our color to red and click save so for the sake of this video make sure you're following the colors and the styles that i'm putting on right so this is the first indicator that we want the second indicator that we want is a relative strength index which will show us uh the strength of our um index before we trade it right so we're going to go to relative strength index which is sri and this sri will have the following settings we want it to have a period of 14 we want it to apply to close and we want it to have the following levels levels 90 and levels 10 right and then we're going to click back or done and then on the style here make sure you choose the color of your background so if you have a white background like me make sure the style is white or the color is white if you have a black background make sure the color is black and then we're going to click done and now as you can see we have an rsi looking like this on our, on our charts right and then we want to add something to this rsi and we want to add the macd so we're going to go back to indicators and i'm going to choose on uh indicator window one because we want the macd to fall into the rsi we just installed and then we're going to choose macd and the macd will have the following settings uh 13 26 9 apply to close levels we will not have any levels we'll use the levels from the rsi and then the colors you can choose any colors of your choice but for the sake of this video let's stick to these ones 
and then once you're done we're just going to click done as you can see we have a macd running through our charts okay and then the last indicator that we want to install is a moving average so i'm going back and then i want this moving average to fall under indicator window one so i'm going to choose indicator window one and then look for the moving average which is this one and then change the settings so this time we want it to have a period of one a shift of zero a method of simple so i'm going to choose and change to simple and then apply to close and then the color this time i want it to be blue and then i'm going to click save and then done now i have the complete strategy right what's left is discussing when to buy and when to sell so remember this is a scalping strategy which means for crash we are buying and then for boom we are selling right so right now i'm on boom 1000 uh, which is uh what i urge you to trade boom 1000 or crash 1000 so right now i'm on crash 1000 and we're going to be using the one minute time frame and the zoom level that we're going to be using is uh the second zoom level from the biggest right so this is the zoom level that we want to use this is the zoom level that we want to use okay all right let's get into when do you buy and when do you sell since we are on crash we want to look for buy opportunities and buy opportunities are as simple as this you buy when your blue line right here reaches level 10 something like this right this is where you enter your buy so it will be soon after a spike soon after a falling spike and it reaches level 10 like this right and you hold up until uh, any of these conditions is met so the first thing is you can hold up until the blue line reaches uh, this purple dotted line for the MACD which will be the same as when the candlesticks touch the red line at the top right there right that's the first condition or that's your first take profit level and then your second take profit level would be when uh, the blue line crosses the purple line again so if it isn't like this it means you can actually enter again into a cell and into a buy trade sorry since we are in crash into a buy trade again up until they cross right so those are the two conditions uh for your take profit levels right let's look at another example for crash we said the first thing that we want is we want our blue line to be at level 10 right we enter our buy position right here your first take profit is when the blue line crosses the purple line just like this right or when your candlesticks uh, touch the red line just like on your main chart right as the first take profit can you see how many candlesticks there are uh, they usually are about 10 right that's the first take profit so you hold up at 10 minutes the second take profit we said uh, we, you want to wait for the dotted purple line to cross the blue line right here that's your second people uh, take profit level so this can be your second entry point and then you hold up to this point right so when you have the first entry point is this one you add more positions at this level or you take profit and then you close all the trades at this stage right i hope that was clear we can go on and on and on looking for these trades uh another one here just after spike you hold up to this stage or add positions at this stage and at this stage so you can actually even start your trades from when the blue line crosses the purple line you enter if you miss this first trade but you have to make sure that you close at this uh stage where it crosses the purple line for the second time you have to close right the same thing can be said on on boom except that this time we're selling so we want our uh we want our RSI to be 
touching level 90 so you sell when your rsi touches level 90 your first take profit will still be the same when the blue line crosses the pep purple dotted line and then the second exit point would be here and can this can you see it was just after the spike right the same thing happens we can look for another entry we can look for another entry you enter here when your blue line touches level 90 you can re-enter here yes there was a spike but it, it wasn't surpassing your entry point so it's still been profit and you hold all the way down until the blue line and the dotted purple line cross again right somewhere here can you see so if you miss the first entry you can enter here and then cross at this point okay so this is the strategy guys again you sell at level 90 second tech pro first tech profit or second entry point hold all the way down to this stage even if the spike came it wasn't going to surpass all your two entry points so this is how the strategy works guys uh comment down below what you think and what you uh want to adjust or if you have any questions and if you want to join our account management program which is kind of love running the right details are in the telegram channel and the link is in the description box um hope you guys have a profitable month of january until next time